There are some newly minted gold medalists living in our state. That's right, Heather Witt and Rowan took top spot for Team USA at the World Agility Championships. And they're here this morning to show off the bling. Show off the bling. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. First of all, thank you so much for being with us. My Second of all, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Third of all, Rowan, I, uh, we were talking about during the break, uh, Rowan is, uh, 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 it's a female dog, but the yes. boy's name is Rowan. Tell me how you name your dogs. Uh, she, because I was having a tree theme at the time. A tree theme And at I the needed time. a tree name that, that fit a girl, or a boy, but a girl. And so I had worked through all that I liked, and I ended up with Rowan, <laughs> which it's, is a tree. It's a beautiful name. Thank you. And she's a beautiful, now, she is about six pounds, right? Yeah. So what's it like training a dog that small? Uh, you bend over a little bit more than a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> the more portable, you know, I carry her out to the start line and I put her down versus having her walk out. But And you know. tell us about your your feet, what you just accomplished. So I made uh, the United States Dog Agility Association World Team, which is they put a team forward that competes at IFCS. International Federation of Sinological Sports um, World Agility Championships, which was in the Netherlands. And we uh, won the Gambler's game. Uh, and oh, is that Ro We're watching That's Rowan? her yeah. winning. That's, that's the Gambler's uh, competition. The first, ha the first part of the, of the course is make it up any way you want, just trying to accumulate points. And then when the timer goes off, which in this case it sounds like a car alarm, uh, you have to do the closing, which is done at a distance. And you can't cross the line or you fault and you don't get the gambler points. Now you were saying for training you started in your basement with pool cue sticks and that's how you with were my able to... First, with my first wow. Sheltie well before I even knew of the existence of dog agility I was a teenager. Right. <laughs> and, and this is a whole world, right? Oh, this is a very big all-consuming world. All-consuming world. <laughs> yes. And you have another dog at home. I, I do, I do, and he's in training as well. Okay, yes. so he's a little bit he younger. He might be faster than her, but, oh, she, but, she's, but she's more she's, consistent. She's more consistent. Yes. What, how do you train? Treats? Uh, what, what, uh, it depends on the dog. He likes to tug for toys, and she works for snacks. She works for snacks. Yeah, she likes to chase me, so I have to run fast. <laughs> and she enjoys doing this. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Yes, if you hear her squeaking, she's having a good time. I now, love it. in your experience in being in this world so long, what are the dogs that are most uh, you know, apt to be successful at this? Yeah. Um, the herding breeds are I probably the I don't see top. a golden retriever doing oh, this. Oh, there are some phenomenal golden retrievers. Seriously? They really are. Wow. I yes. stand Big corrected. dogs like Border Collies, I would imagine. Border Collies, Australian Shepherds, Shetland yeah. Sheepdogs. Yeah. Yep, um, and then some of the Malinois, um, they're, but they're so, you know, dogs it, of every, and poodles do great too, especially the, the toy poodles. Now, do, do you have a job or is your I'm job to- I'm a dog tra trainer. Okay, so you are yep. a dog trainer. <laughs> yeah, I, t I teach, you know, family manners, obedience, oh, and, wow. and work with uh, behavior problems in dogs, and I also teach dog agility. You ever have a cat? Yeah. Really? I love cats. Can oh you train God, a cat so to excited. be an agility? Champion? Um, I had my chicken jumping over jumps, if that counts for anything. That certainly counts for a lot, exactly. <laughs> so you got the gold. What was your reaction when you got the gold? Could Relief. you believe? Relief. I like, I, you know, big event, big thing to go over that. And, you know, I had it a goal for years, and then it's just like, all right. All this time and effort, and I, you know, and uh, now I can sit and say to my husband, hmm. <laughs> and, and though with with all the crowds and everything, does that affect the performance at all? Oh, it makes her faster. Oh, and when, makes her break her start line. <laughs> uh, when when do you start training a dog? At, at uh, what point? Twelve weeks of age. Twelve weeks yeah, that young. Eight weeks of age. I mean, I started with her, brought her home, and I was teaching her to come when called when she was this big, this big. exposing her to sounds and, and shifting surfaces. So it's not like you're having her jump jumps at that age, but you can show her what a tunnel looks like. Now, is she willing to share the medal with you, or um, she, have you spoken to her? <laughs> it, it's too big for her. It weighs her down. It weighs her down. Oh, yes. She can't does. do the agility with the gold. Yes. So, so she can't run with it anyway, so it hangs on a, on a thing in the kitchen. And, and what's next? Next, we'll be trying out for other world teams. Okay, so you you, you were in the Netherlands for this particular competition, yes. right? Yeah. So this gets you all over the world. Yes, next year it's in Great Britain. Oh, how wonderful. So oh. hopefully I'll go play in Great Britain. Well, that sounds like maybe you can teach an old dog new tricks too, right? Yeah. Maybe. maybe I can, maybe go can tag can along. Go Absolutely. Well, we can't thank you, Heather Witt, dog trainer and gold medalist, and Rowan, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure, thank it's you. It's an absolute joy to see the both of you. So it really is terrific. Cute.